Hi, I'm Pete, and this is an HK Now Store unboxing. Um, now, the box is just a little bit beat up. I don't really consider this to be too bad, but um, the uh, people at uh, Canada Post slapped a, uh, a damaged uh, sticker on there. I was actually there when the lady uh, did it. So uh, that was kind of nice of them, anyway, to acknowledge it, that maybe the box could have been handled a little, a little better. Looks like you're caught in a machine or something like that. Uh, anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine inside. So, uh, well, here we go. Uh, let's uh, let's open this up and uh, and see what I got. Yeah, um, it's it's actually been a while since I, I got a package from my uh, HK Now store, and uh, I've, I've had my last puzzle was uh, Shapeways. So there we go. Um, so yeah, so I tend to get fewer puzzles, obviously, if I get the shape ways. I'm just gonna... Alright, so, yeah. Oh, I didn't see the tape there. Okay, so it is very, very well packed. So let's see what we got here. Okay, this is, uh, I mixed up, uh, the order then. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit here. Um, so this is uh, an order I placed about two weeks ago, which actually uh, makes a lot more sense. That's about typical of uh, orders uh, that I get from uh, HK Now Store. So let's see what I got in here then. So this I placed this order about two weeks ago. So we have a crazy 3x3, and we have another crazy 3x3, and I see that they're nicely unstickered. Um, and I have a uh, ooh, nice puzzle from Wood Eden. So here are the stickers for the 3x3s. Of course, uh, Calvin's card. And there you go. Okay. So, um, what did what did I get here? Well, I got a uh, crazy 3x3 Earth and a crazy 3x3 Uranus. And um, they're unstickered, which is great. Oh, and I got some... Uh, Springs and stuff like that. I'll explain all that. So uh, these uh, crazy three by threes. Um, there was a uh, project on the Twisty Puzzle forum called Crazy Two Face. It was posted by R Line. I think that's how he pronounces it. Um, and uh, it just—it's a modification of the three by three, the crazy three by three, um, so that uh, only um, so that you basically fuse two of the faces. And um, there was quite a bit of discussion on how to use two of these puzzles to um, to make uh, all the different possible variants of uh, with two fused faces. So basically, you just have three circles, and then two of them will be uh, will be permanently fused. And the idea is that uh, you should be able to um, make all the different permutations. So that's, uh, I ordered these uh, puzzles for the express purpose of, uh, of uh, cutting them up and uh, fusing them together. And I'm glad to see that they, uh, that they weren't stickered, so that'll make things uh, a lot easier. So I will follow up with that project and uh, see how that goes. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Now, um, this is, I finally broke down, I got myself a... Uh, a well, let's see, what is it? It's a wood heaton, and uh, you can see if you read Chinese, it, you might be able to might be able to see what that says there. Um, and, oh, there we go. We see this is the this is the uh, wormhole two. Okay, so I really like um, the wormhole puzzle. I like the other wood heaton puzzles, the mix up series. And uh, what happened was, I uh, got myself a wormhole. Uh, I made myself a wormhole two out of my mix-up um, plus three by three and my wormhole. Okay, and it's actually pretty easy. You just take out the middle layer and you take apart your two puzzles. Uh, the problem is then your your wormhole puzzle and your mix-up three by three are are messed up. And uh, you know every time I wanted to to play with one of those, then I had to uh, take my wormhole two apart. Um, or every time I wanted to play with my wormhole too, I'd have to take my mix up uh, three by threes apart. So I decided, you know what, I I want to make a, a video, a tutorial on this. So I figured I'd just get myself one, and um, 
and then uh, be able to uh, um, to make uh, yeah to to play with it anytime I want and not have to take my other uh, puzzles apart. So that's what I've done, and uh, so this is nice. It's uh, it's turning quite well, and so the difference between the wormhole uh, cube and the wormhole two is this: uh, um, you have the three by three uh, mix-up layer um, in the middle, and what it does is it kind of obscures. Um, if you see the little window here, you can see the uh, the color there, um, and having the uh, having this. Um, middle layer solid like that obscures what's there and it just adds to the challenge of, uh, of solving it. Uh, I think I have a fairly good solution for it but uh, now that I have my own uh, mix up, uh, sorry, wormhole uh, 2, I'll be able to, to to play with it a bit more and, and I especially like the idea of being able to um, maybe try things on the um, wormhole and then apply them to the uh, to the wormhole 2. Okay, so, so there you go, and so you can look uh, for a video uh, uh, on this puzzle coming up. Okay, well that's uh, that's great. Now the last thing that was in the uh, in the box then uh, was this uh, Diane um, uh, 3x3 uh, core and springs. And um, the reason I got this is that I just I recently got a Diane Panchi. And uh, I really like it. it. It's good. It's breaking in quite nicely. Um, but as it was breaking in, I noticed that, that one face, I, I, I was tightening the faces as it broke in. And I noticed that one face, oops, I didn't know that was loose, um, kept, um, it just couldn't tighten anymore. And uh, oh, here, I'll, uh, I'll zoom in on these so you can, you can see them. If, I think, anyway, oh my. I don't really have to adjust the camera here. Sorry about that. I, I thought these days were over. Um, there. So my Diane Apache, one of the faces just I couldn't tighten it anymore, and it, it was a little looser than I'd like. And I was watching some videos about the Apache and the various issues people have had with them online, and I saw a fellow mention a mushroomed uh, screws in his kit. And then I remembered, as I was putting it together, indeed, one of the screws was mushroomed. I was having trouble with the face, and I took all the screws out to clean off the uh, plastic residue, which is sometimes an issue. Uh, and I noticed one of the screws was very badly mushroomed. So without thinking too much about it, I just took a file, and I just uh, uh, made took off the, the mushroom part and uh, put it all back together. And I think that probably what happened was that that screw damaged the core. And... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the core of the Panchi. I'm, I'm thinking it's the same, uh, the, the same size as the usual one. And then I'll make sure that all of these screws are good and uh, put it all back together. So, yeah, um, you know, I like the Panchi, but I have to say I'm, I'm really not so impressed with the sort of the double whammy of the broken uh, corner stock, which I had on my Panchi, and then that mushroom screw, which uh, sort of kind of causing me to have to get a... A new core. I think a lot of um, cubers might not actually even bother with that. They would just decide that the the puzzle is just not worth it, or there's something wrong with it, and just just uh, give up on it. So, you know, I, I hope that uh, they're going to make some adjustments and uh, kind of um, uh, because it's, I think this is unusual for for uh, uh, Diane. So, uh, hopefully, it's just uh, a one off. So that's my. Um, that's my HK Now store unboxing. This only took uh, two weeks. I thought originally this was my my other order, but uh, this is the the one that I ordered two weeks ago. That's that's really pretty fast, um, right on the uh, the fast side of things for HK Now. And I'm very happy with my puzzles. So I'll uh, follow up with uh, all of these. So I really enjoy uh, reading your comments and suggestions. So please uh, don't hesitate to. Uh, write something uh, in the uh, comment section and uh, yeah that's it for me thanks for watching